Hello everyone, this is Farah Hafiz, a student in grade 12 at Charge American International School and our robotics team is supervised by Mr. Shadi Qassas, physics teacher and the head of the science department and Mr. Muhammad Abu Ghanayim, a chemistry teacher and Mr. Nabil Halabi, a physics teacher and in this video I'm going to be unboxing the classroom and competition super kit for the VEX robotics competition. So first of all, I'm going to start by unboxing the classroom and competition base kit. And when you first open the kit, this is what you're going to see. Now, uh, this is just a paper talking about the firmware up updated update for the VexNet Key 2.0. And this is a paper talking about the initial tether between the Cortex microcontroller and VexNet joystick joystick <clears throat> and this is a power cable for the smart charger and here are the is the battery which is 7.2 volts And this is a 8 bay, double uh, A AA or triple A smart battery charger. And this is a USB cable. This is the VexNet backup battery holder. And as you can see. This is what it looks like. And these, this is a six pack of uh, a double A batteries. This is just a VEX motor. This is the uh, adapter for the smart battery charger and this is a smart charger for the robot battery this is what it looks like and here is the um, VEX Cortex microcontroller this is what it looks like and these are two VEXnet uh, keys and it's the VEXnet 2.0 and this is what it looks like and it's just uh, you can connect it through USB this is a motor controller and it comes with a zip tie also and this is the Vexner joystick This is what it looks like. It has a USB port right there. And this is a rocket. It's just the claw for the claw box. It comes with some screws. And this is the Clawbot kit. And I'm going to open it in just a second. And this is a booster kit. And I'm also going to open this in a second. So now I'm going to unbox the Clawbot kit. And this is it has most of the parts that are needed for the claw bot, building the claw bot, except for the claw, which we saw earlier. 
So this is just the guide for building the claw bot. Here are just some screws. And here are two motor <coughs> controllers. And this is just a box full of screws and nuts and <coughs> some uh, bearings. Let's just fill this in there. Fancy. Uh, here are four wheels. And here are just some gears. And here are four motors. And here are just some zip ties. And here we can find some wrenches as well as two long zip ties. And here are just some metal pieces for the body of the robot itself. So these are just some plates. So now I'm going to unbox the booster kit. And be careful while opening the booster kit because it is very heavy. And you'll see why just in just a second. So in the first box, there are a lot of small parts such as gears, some screws, uh, some smaller gears, and here are some plates and some bearings, different gears, and this is just like all filled with just metal parts as you can see. And in the second box there are different size plates and that's why it's heavy. It's all filled with heavy metal pieces for the building of like the base of a robot or the, just the robot's body and see it's just different size plates right here so now I'm going to be unboxing the mechatronics add-on kit so here are just two large metal pieces And here are two hinges. Here's some plastic tubing. Here are some rubber bands. Here are three wire extension cables. And this is a VEX motor. There are some other metal pieces. And here are four wheels. And here is the limit switch. Two limit switches actually. And here is a tank tread up upgrade kit. And it's just filled with small plastic pieces. And 
So here's a 16 rack gear, <coughs> rack gears. And here are two bumper switches. And here's some additional high strength chain. <clears throat> And here are two four inch omnidirectional wheels. So they can move in this direction or roll forward. And here's a high strength gear kit. Which just has different size gears. And here are some metal gears. And this is the high strength sprocket and chain kit. So it just has the chains and gears. So now I'm going to unbox the programming add-on kit. Here are three LED indicators, as you can see here. Here are two VEX motors. Here are three wire PWM cables. This is a, these are two potentiometers. Uh, this is a motor controller, just like the ones we've seen before. This is another motor controller. And this one comes with a zip tie. And a third motor controller. Also comes with a zip tie. This is a box that has two bumper switches. This box has two limit switches, just like the ones we've seen before. This box has a an optical encoder shaft. Actually, has two of them. So this is what it looks like, and it can be opened. It has wires. These are two omnidirectional wheels. Like the ones you saw before. They can move in this direction or roll in that direction. Or both. This is a line tracker. So 
This is what it looks like. And the wires. This is a motor integrated encoder module. And it has some gears, some wires, and this. And finally here is an ultrasonic range finder or an ultrasonic sensor. So last but not least, I am unboxing the winch and pulley kit. And it has some gears, some rope metal and this basically you can make a pulley out of this I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching